हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेसन नंबर टेन फोर्स एंड टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टॉपिक फोर्स इफेक्ट्स ऑफ फोर्स टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्स दैट इज मस्कुलर फोर्स मैकेनिकल फोर्स एंड ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स day we perform many action each action is require a force to be applied on the object no non living thing object can move on its own and change its position force is applied to change its position when the object is in motion it can be stopped using force the direction of moving an object can be changed due to the force when we kick the football coming in our direction towards the goal we apply force in day to day life we do many actions such as lifting pulling riding a bicycle and stopping it at a times pushing a load squeezing or bending something and driving vehicles it is necessary to apply force for doing all this action force is applied to an object to pull it or push it in any manner no object changes position on its own force is required to move an object force is used to change the direction of an object in motion or to stop it force is defined as a push or pull which tries to change or changes the state of rest of a body when we apply a force to an object the object gains momentum and this is what we call the moving object for example force applied on a ball help it to move in forward direction when a football player kicks the ball it experience motion while playing football the player applies a pushing force with the help of his foot effects of force force can change the shape in size of an object what happen when you hold the two ends of a spring and pull them apart the shape of the spring changes the original shape is lost and the pulled spring acquires a new shape what happens when a blacksmith hammer a red hot piece of iron when a blacksmith hammer a red hot pieces of iron it changes its shape from the above example it is understood that force is necessary to change the shape of an object no object can change its position on its own if opposing force is not applied on a moving object then it moves in the same direction with the same speed uh, to change the direction of the moving object force is necessary force is necessary to change the shape of an object types of forces contact force and non contact force now can you tell me what is a contact force a contact force is any force that require contact to occur for example pushing a car up a hill or kicking a ball across a room are some of the everyday example where contact forces are at work Contact forces are forces that act between two objects that are physically touching each other. Non-contact forces are invisible forces. A non-contact force is a force which acts on an object without coming physically in contact with it. The most familiar non-contact force is gravity, which confers weight. In contrast, a contact force is a force applied to a body by another body that is in contact with it the force of gravity is in another example thus gravity will pull a raindrop down to the earth without any tangible physical link between the earth and the drop so contact force and non contact force so contact force are muscular force and frictional force non contact force are gravitational magnetic and electrostatic force the very first force which we are going to learn is muscular force
Muscular force, it is a force that results because of the action of the muscles and is a contact force since there is a contact between the surface. Muscular force is required whenever the movement of body occurs. The force applied by the action of muscles in our body is termed as a muscular force. For example, when you pick up a book placed on a table using your hand, you apply muscular force. It is a force that is exerted by the earth on every object which is near or on its surface. Now, what is muscular force? Why it is called as a contact force? Muscular force is called contact force because muscles are in direct contact with the object on which force is applied while applying force. For example, walking, running, weightlifting, kicking a ball, etc. When force is applied on the body using help of a muscles like arms or legs is known as a muscular force. Means the force applied with the help of a muscles is called as a muscular force. The person in the picture alongside is lifting the weight by using the muscular force. Mechanical force. A mechanical force can be defined as a force that features some direct contact between two objects. One applying the force and another which is in a state of rest or in a state of motion as a result in the production of change in the state of an object. Mechanical force. The force applied by the means of machine is called mechanical force. We use different machines for doing many tasks. Muscular force is used for running some machines. Some machines are run by using electricity or fuel. Machines like latter are called automatic machines because a mechanical force is used here. For example, a sieving machine, electric pump, washing machine, mixture, etc. Gravitational force. Do you ever think why does the object falls to the ground? Why it does not stay in the air or it goes up? It is due to gravity. An invisible force that pulls object towards each other. Earth gravity is what keeps you on the ground and what makes things fall. Anything that has mass also has gravity. So, the closer objects are to the each other, the stronger their gravitational pull is. When object falls to the ground, gravity causes them to accelerate. Acceleration is a change. Why do object falls? Object falls with the same acceleration. If the gravitational force is the only force, is an interaction between the two objects with the mass. If an object is thrown upward by applying force, it reaches a certain height and comes down again. Why is this so? Why do fruits on the tree fall to the ground? Because the earth pulls all the object towards itself. Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravitation in the 17th century. The earth gravitational force acts in a direction opposite to that of an object moving upwards. Hence, the speed of that object goes on decreasing till in the end it becomes zero. Then the object starts falling down instead of going up any further. While falling, its speed goes on increasing all the time due to the gravitational force. In our next video, we are going to learn about magnetic, frictional, electrostatic and combined forces. Thank you.